there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Sorry, folks. What's going on? Today, I'm going to, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Spring's almost here. It's about to be here. And I haven't done this in a... I haven't done, actually, as far as video record in a while because I've been busy bless the almighty God, whoever you choose to believe, but thank you for the opportunities and the doors that have opened, and I want to thank you, the viewers, for uh, allowing me to have these opportunities, to have these doors open, because without you guys, I'd just be another schmuck on YouTube talking, which I really basically am, but apparently my message is getting through because other people were finally seeing what I'm talking about, and now you got other people, and I know you, I know this few viewers have seen this, or you have other people now who's trying to jump in my lane, per se, and now they're talking about the type of events like this where they weren't talking about this before. So it's kind of flattering to me because, like, the people who watch videos on YouTube, they let me know, so I appreciate that and thank you. And to the guys who are doing it, good luck. As long as you keep it funky with facts. And, oh, yeah, let me tell you something. There's people out there, these trolls, that try to, like, Make up all these accusations in my little like I had a troll talk about like I, I talked about uh, like I saw about Jesus about in my one video about hair wool this set in the third. Have you ever seen a sheep? The, it, hair wool is very sub subjective. So that's the troll was trying to bait me, and I was like, I'll let you have your little shine, you know what I mean? But I'm not sitting here to argue with you. This is my video. I'm giving it to you as is. I always tell you people to do your research and check the facts. Now, I knew the dude was bullshitting on me because he tried to tell me, my brother did eight tours in the Middle East and Algeria. I'm like, he said, what did he say? He said he served in Algeria. And I'm like, first of all, why don't you just put, he, so he, well, he was never in Iraq, he just spent the whole time in Algeria. I'm not even gonna ask veterans or people in the military because that, that was lying off the bat, but the trolls try to bait me, and I'm like, fuck out of here. So, letting you know, I'm still doing this, whether you like it or not. I just like have a lot of things going on right now. I, like I said, I still have my 925, so uh, things are going good there. Hopefully, you know, it'll keep going good. So, but I'm still doing, I'm doing these videos. I've just been branching out, and, and like the real reason I haven't been on it that much is I've been helping other people, like do videos and start other videos, and like and. Mind you, I'm not doing up for a fee. So I'm just doing it because they're friends of mine, or people ask me questions, and I help them out. Now, let's get back to the video. I'm going to talk about something today, which I haven't talked about it yet. And, I, and like, I think I told you people, I don't know if I put this video up yet, this is the only, it, this is the only story I wish I would have talked about earlier. But I didn't because of, and I'm going to explain. I'm going to talk about the Ukrainian, the Russian, and Crimea uh, uh, I don't want to say, the Crimea situation. Now, before I talk about this, I, I'm going to let you guys know, this might, this might go first, more than likely, I'm going to put this on my Dirty Business channel, and then I'm going to put it on the Low Rent channel, and if I do put it on the Low Rent channel, it might not get shown, or they might try some funny stuff, or I'll have to chop it up to a point. And the reason if I put on my low rent, I was first to go on Dirty Business for sure. That's like, that's, this is why it's here on this channel first. I'm going to show you why, I'm going to why I gotta tell you why it's there first. Okay. As you may know, as you may not have known, I do business with the Russians. I don't do business with the Russians who are living here, which they're, well, I do do business with Russians who are living here, but not, like, not related to this. I do business, my, my studio. My MCN, look like Google all this stuff up when I'm telling you this, my, my internet NCN, my, my, my online studio, the people who I'm under a contract with are based, there's two bases, the, 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 the structural base is in Russia, it's in Moscow, I'm under new, I'm under quiz group, 
You can look this all up I'm under quiz group. They're based in Russia. That's what I thought I'd do. The financial center is based in Switzerland. But the reason I, I, I took my time doing this because there's two things they have done to me, and I'm gonna be honest with you folks. First of all, and this it, they, they, they took the they took down they took down a couple of videos I made, which is not allowed them in my contract. It shouldn't be, shouldn't have been done. They done two things. They took a video down. What it was is I talked about some about how is America becoming the old Russia. Now I, I re-uploaded it after I went back and forth with them and saying, look, man, this is not my contract. I have total control of everything. You just do what you do. Second thing they've done to me is they deny my analytics for like a month and a half to two months, which got me saying like those two reasons alone, I can leave. Like I can leave my contract. Those two reasons alone, I can vamoose because it goes against my contract and it goes against the things that we talked about. Like I had side, like, like, and let me tell you something. People, when you make deals, even if it's an email, it's still a legal document. Like I have my contract, and also I have emails where I was talking to top dogs, where I was like, "Hey, this, that, and this. Well, okay, we'll let you do this. We'll let you do that." Those are still considered legal documents. So people be on you, be on your. This this YouTube shit, unfortunately, has become for for a lot of us. To me, it's still fun. But now it's become a little bit business inter, inter, intertwined with the fun. So you gotta separate the two, you gotta have to wear a lot of hats. So they've done two things to me that's against my contract, and I could have bought it. But I'm staying with them because they, we, we, we chopped it up this, set, and the fifth. I still reserve the right to do what I have to do to protect myself. And I told them that. And I was a little, little fine on that. I reserve the right to protect myself and my interest if you guys keep not doing what you say you're gonna do. And that's how I feel. But as you know, I do business with the Russians. So I had to lay back and also I wanted to, first, uh, second of all, I wanted to let all the pundits and all the know-it-alls say what they had to say that I want to go in. But I had to sit back and see how things played out with their other channels that are in Russia. Because there's another, there's a, they got a top Russian channel in, in Quiz Group. And they made a video. And once I saw what their video was talking about, it's uh, Real Russia, by the way. Go look them up. And they were talking about how they were apolitical about the situation in Ukraine. And they still, I mean, apolitical means, you know, one with whatever way to it, it, it means that you really don't have an opinion, this and that. I understand. It is what it is. But when I give you my opinion, this is going to be the honest, my honest opinion backed up with the facts that are going with the situation. So that's what I had to look out for. I had to look out for what, who I was signed to. And I wanted to wait and see how things unfolded because I, I was going to make a video earlier, like maybe a month and a half ago. But then Putin switched up and did something that nobody thought he would do. And then they would make my video like, you know, it, I would have left it out and it would, it would have been this. But I'm going to talk about that. Okay. As you may have known, we're up to where we're at right now, uh, we're, we're, I'm giving you the where we're at as of 2014. This is the March 20. First to point out, I forget what day it is. Russia has signed a deal. Crimea voted to jump ship, get out of Ukraine, and let Russia annex it. Russia has annexed, or it will be in the process, either or, as of right now. So, let me get back on information. Ukraine wanted to do the whole the whole mess started because Ukraine wanted to join the NATO. They wanted to join NATO. A lot, a lot of Ukrainians, and let me explain the look. See, and see, when it's video like this, I gotta go deep. In Ukraine, the, the, the Ukraine was like, imagine a state like a Pennsylvania, the way it's shaped. Imagine a long state, the way it's shaped. Or imagine Florida, sideways. About two thirds of this country is like Ukrainian as far as dominant. But there's a third or fourth of that country. That are Russian ethnics, and then Russia has a base in in Crimea. Crimea. Now I can't pronounce the name of that the word. That like I'll be honest with you, but it has a base there. So most of Ukrainians wanted to go to the Western Europe because they see how the Western Europe has free markets, 
not all cracked up to be, but it's better than what they have now. They they see how there's a lot of independence, a lot of free thinking, a lot of you know, you can be your artist all, all the all let me put this all the artists and all the people, you know, with ideas don't live in the eastern side of Ukraine that much. So they live in like Kiev and like towards the west. But Ukraine won Russia out of their business so they can go to NATO. So what happened was the, and, and there was a big swell against the, the uh, Ukrainian president who happened to flee to Russia. But that's that's down the road in the story. So what happened was Russia, to starve off this, they gave them billions and billions in aid. And I think they forgave some debts. And they also gave them a sweetheart deal as far as natural gas. Like, let me tell you folks, so Russia supplies Europe with 30% of their natural gas. So, all right, all right, number one, they got a weapon to use against if any shit goes down. Just to, just to little, let you guys know, they supplied Europe with 30% of natural gas pipeline. Okay, so they were giving Ukraine a sweetheart deal. So the Ukrainian president, not the one now, the one that's still in exile in Russia, took the deal. And so the people were, no, no, and they announced that they're going to form like the what, 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 basically what the Putin wants to do is form, reform the Soviet Union. He calls it the worst geopolitical disaster in modern times. So that should tell you something about the, about the dissolving of the Soviet Union. And that's what Putin wants to do. He wants to put back the Soviet Union one by one. He already got the little country. There. Yeah, that's what it is. There. That's it. That's him.